A man is dead and another woman is recovering after a fall from a railroad trestle due to an oncoming train. 10 News reporter Tim Harfman is live at Riverside Park in Lynchburg and Tim police believe this was an accident. That's right, Lindsay. Lynchburg police say that right now they are not pursuing criminal charges. Uh, they they say that they have notified the families but are not releasing the names just yet because it is an ongoing investigation. Now, you can see the train trestle right behind me. We're told this is the closest that you can get here on the Alpine Trail without going beyond the no tr trespassing signs, fences, and barbed wire. How, however, the two decided to go against that Sunday morning. Now, officials say they were crossing over from the Amherst County side and taking photos on the tracks. They almost made it to the Lynchburg side when the incident occurred. We're told the last accidental death at this site was 2014, but there have been numerous incidents and close calls in recent years. City leaders are urging people to stay off the tracks, and at this time, there's not much more they can do to prevent another incident because it is private property. We are I'm very concerned uh, for the, our citizens' safety. Um, as far as the signage, that is something we'd have to work with North, Norfolk Southern because they own those, those railroad tracks. Anything on the railroad across that bridge is railroad property. Um, and so certainly uh, for us to you know, put any kind of safety features on the trestle or around the trestle uh, would certainly involve a conversation with them. Norfolk Southern is offering condolences, but have yet to answer our question on whether they'll add features to make sure an incident like this doesn't happen again. Live in Lynchburg, Tim Harfman, 10 News, working for you.